Hello, hello everyone, welcome to today's video. My name is Laura, this is my channel Laura's Little Library, and today I'm going to be doing a flip through of my entire bullet journal from this past year. I started off by having a 2021 master list of all the books I read with the title, author, and rating. However, I only started this bullet journal in August, so these are all the books that I've read and the spreads starting from August and on. So August was a beach theme as it was the last month of summer, and I think going through, this was a pretty decent spread for it being my very first spread that I ever did. I definitely think it could use a little more structure and color and just be a little bit neater overall. But this is when I used pens because I didn't have anything else around to use. I also realized I wasted a lot of space for planning for reviews of books I didn't end up reading that month, so I won't be doing it that again. Next was September, and I did a Gravity Falls theme for this one because I had just watched the show and I thought it was perfect for that transition between summer and Halloween. Here I used crayons for the coloring and that was a very bad idea, along with Sharpie as I just it bled through the pages and I had a really hard time just appreciating each spread on its own. However, I think the theme of the spread itself was a little bit more prominent and a little better than in August. I still lacked some of that structure and still figuring out how to plan the bullet journal in a way that was the most useful for me. What spreads I liked, what spreads I used, what ones I didn't know I would want yet. Then I had my October spread, and I enjoyed this one quite a bit. I used some inspiration from Pinterest. I finally had a small pack of markers that didn't bleed through and a good pen. I think this is where my bullet journal really started to pick up as each spread was fun and colorful and slightly more structured. November spread, I really liked my cover page for it. I felt like it actually took up an entire page, unlike October did. And again, on this one, I loved having the theme of fall, and I again played around with what spreads I wanted in the journal versus what ones I didn't. I was still kind of figuring out structure and the best way to use up all the space, but I did settle on the calendar format that I really liked. And again, I was using these readathon specific pages and I enjoyed it and I started really using my brainstorm areas and I came up with new ideas for more spreads that I wanted to use going forward into December. Now December is the current spread that I'm going through and of course I think it might be the best of all. I did shorten my TBR just a little bit because of the readathons, but again, I this is my most structured spread that I've done where everything is neat and using up all the space. I figured out color coding for the calendar which I was really excited about and will plan on using for all of my 
future spreads. Uh, again, because it's December, I had some extra spreads that I was trying out and some I will use and some like the books coming out I won't but I'm really happy with the structure of my social media spreads with planning the two videos a week on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok and even how I structured the reviews to be just a little more neat and have a little more space for each review without wasting space. I am still cautious about planning ahead but that's because I needed to end do my year end for 2021 with that final spread that you saw and then getting prepared for next year's master list thank you all so much for watching this video if you liked it give it a thumbs up otherwise feel free to subscribe i am posting four videos every week in december otherwise i post on sundays and wednesdays so subscribe and hit the bell to be notified all of my social media is linked down below and let's be friends but until I see you all in the next video, I wish you happy reading.